Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a really long time since I last uploaded, so I thought I'd do something different today. Literally went on a dog walk and then I just had a random idea that I'll show you guys what clothes I own. So I'm gonna go through the stuff that's hanging up um, and just talk to you through some bits that I've got. And then I'll go through a few bits of my drawer. It's not all of my clothes because some of them are in the wash, but yeah, I thought this would be a good idea. So let's get to it. So, first up, I have this coat, which I've had for a super long time. This was uh, given to me, and it's a Jane Norman coat. I actually haven't worn it in a while. It's quite a thick, wintry coat. I don't know if you can see it. Um, but it's quite posh, so I really like it, and I've just kept it, because I probably will wear it again at some point. Sorry, if my, my floorboard's really squeaky, so you might hear that a little bit. Next, I don't actually know where this has come from. Oh, this is New Look. Right, so this is a New Look play suit. I don't know where I got it from. I don't know if I bought it or if it was given to me. But it's like a denim looking play suit. And it looks so, so good with a tan. It's like a really simple piece. But with like a nice tan and some sandals, I just love it. Got this. It doesn't look so great on the hanger. So it hasn't dried properly. This is from Debenhams, but I actually bought this in... Sorry, you can't see my head. Um, this is from Debenhams, but I actually bought this in Antigua. There was a lady selling stuff on the beach. I assume people had given her stuff. Like, if people like me, if I think, oh, I don't fancy these shoes anymore, so I end up just giving them to people that are there, um, because, like, quite often they're not as well off as, like, English people are, so... Um, yeah, I'm assuming someone probably gave this to her and she just decided to sell it. But this is what I wore, like, on the beach when I was pregnant. I was actually pregnant with Eloise when we were in Antigua. Um, but I just love it. It's a really nice white dress. It's not strappy. It's just where I've hung it up. So it's like a boob tube thing. Um, I don't know if you can see it very well. But yeah, I love this. It's really nice for, like, going to the beach and just chucking over a bikini. Then I've got this dress. This is from New Look. I've had this for a while. Um, I don't actually know where this has come from. I just get given clothes all the time by people because I'm like a lot smaller. I've always had like hand-me-downs and quite often I've kept a lot of them but I have started buying my own stuff now. I don't just live off freebies. Uh, but yeah, this is New Look and it's just a cute frilly dress. I love frills. Um, because I watched a program once, I don't know if it was Gok Wan, um, but basically, whoever it was, it was like a fashion-y person, they said if you don't have boobs, get something with frills, and you think, oh, that would, like, draw people's attention to your boobs and see that there's, like, no boobs, but for some reason, frills just hide the fact you don't have boobs, so, yeah, that's why I like it. Oh, then I've got this dress, which I love. Now, it doesn't look so grand on the hanger. No, nothing ever does. I ought to try it on, really, but I can't really be bothered. But I love this dress. It's got, like, spaghetti shoulders, straps, not shoulders. And it's from New Look. And look at the design on it. Isn't it so pretty? So when I bought this dress, on the tag it said Willow. And I'd not long had Willow when I bought this. So it was just it was a sign. I had to get it. And I still love it now. I don't wear it very often because it is a bit posh. I mean, I probably could style it down with a denim jacket, but I don't know. I just love it. And I've got this, which is another one of my favourite dresses. This is from Boohoo, and it's like a rose gold glittery dress. So it's like mid-length sleeves, and I... Is it mid-length on me? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Um... But yeah, I actually wore this for New Year's 2019 slash going into 2020. So really, it's probably a really bad luck dress because, I mean, we all had a terrible year that year. So uh, I probably ought to get rid of it, but I just love it so much. So I'm going to give it another chance. Hopefully it doesn't carry any negativity. Isn't it so gorgeous? I mean, I don't know when I'm going to wear it again. Probably another New Year's. I'm one of those people that... I don't really care how many times I wear an outfit. If it looks good, 
I'm going to wear it again. Like, I'm not one that just wears something once and then doesn't wear it. It is a bit annoying because where there's little sequins, like that's all scrunched up because it's like the threads are caught. So that's annoying. But And I think actually it probably cut up my arms on the night because where my arms were like rubbing against the dress, I think I had a rash, but I looked hot, so... Then I've got this new look blazer. I've actually only worn this once and I didn't wear it outside the house. I actually wore it to like a zoom interview. Um, but I got this in the sale in new look and it was about £10. And I just love it. It's like a, a what's it called? Pale pink. I can't think of the actual name, but isn't it so cute? I love it. I mean, hopefully I'll have somewhere to go at some point to wear it. <coughs> Sorry, I've got hiccups. This is just a really simple Primark midi dress um, and I love it because it's so, what's the word, it's so casual. I love wearing casual dresses because I just like wearing dresses a lot. I think I have very little time to put makeup on and do my hair all nice but if I can just chuck something on that looks nice, it looks like I've made an effort so Quite often I'll just chuck a dress on and then it looks like I've actually made an effort with my appearance. This, this is another midi dress. I quite like midi dresses. Um, but this is from Next. So I got this when I worked for Next. And I mean, I wasn't a massive fan on it. Like I saw it on the rail and we had to wear Next clothes, obviously, when I worked there. And I just thought, yeah, I'll get it. And then I wore it and now I love it. I love it so much. I do quite like going out of the box. I say out of the box, I mean, most of my clothes are pretty basic, but I've started to just start buying stuff that I think looks good, even though I don't think, oh, I really love that. Like, I'm not a massive fan of red, but it looks good on me, so I just wear it. I hope that makes sense. Next is a maxi dress. This is from Boohoo, and it's just a navy stripy one. I did have one a few years ago when I was pregnant because it's kind of, because it's a maxi, you can kind of get away with having a bump in there. But I had a white one with navy stripes and this is like the other one. This is the navy with the white stripes. Um, it's actually a size four, but it's so big on the chest that I've had to put a safety pin in because else my bra is completely exposed. I think it's made for busty girls. But if you're a size four, you're not a busty girl. And I'm not even a size four, I'm a size eight. Yet this fits, like, I feel like they've got the sizing wrong with this, but I love it. It's perfect for the beach, and I just tend to wear this as a, a casual dress. With a lot of my pieces, though, you can really, you can dress them up, you can wear them with heels, or you can wear them with a denim jacket and dress them down. And that's what I love about my clothes. Um, this is a dress that was given to me, this is from Select. And this is another dress that I used to wear quite a lot when I was pregnant. I didn't end up buying a lot of maternity clothes because I found they were so expensive and you're only going to wear them once. Whereas with something like this, which is baggy, you've got room for a bump, but you can also wear it again when you don't have a bump. So yeah, it's just a really simple dress. Again, this is, it looks kind of dressy, but I have worn this, worn this like to casual places before and just put a denim jacket with it. That's like my go-to. I like clothes to to be casual and dressy, like I can do both of them. So that's that one. Next is another one that I've probably, yeah, I did wear this when I was pregnant. This is Boohoo, it's actually inside out, but it looks the same on the inside as it does the outside. It's basically a black maxi dress, just plain black. Um, again with this, dress it up, dress it down, do whatever you please. But I love it, I haven't actually worn it in a while, it's quite long. So I tend to wear this to like a more dressy place, like my heels. But it's just super comfy. I love stuff like this. Then I've got this jacket. This is from Tesco's. Uh, I can't remember how much this is, but I think it was pretty pricey at the time. Um, and I don't ever wear brown. But occasionally, I will go outside the box and wear brown. Um, and I have worn this a couple of times. It doesn't get as much wear as it probably should, but I'm keeping it because, yeah. Then I've got denim jacket, obviously. I can get it out. 
This is from New Look, I've had it for a while, it's just a pale denim jacket. I did have a darker version of this, um, but it was actually too small where I've put on weight, so I need to get another one in a dark version, because sometimes you need to wear light, sometimes you need to wear dark, but I love a denim jacket, I think it's a, a staple in your wardrobe. I mean, I'm not a fashion icon, but every, every girl needs a denim jacket, I think. Next, I've got another dress that was given to me. I do buy my own clothes, I promise. This is from Tesco's, and it's not a very good dress to see off the, on the hanger. Uh, but basically, it's got sleeves like that, so it's meant to sit on your chest, and then it's strapless. It's just where it's hung up. And then there's a tie that goes round the waist, and I just thought that would be super cute for holidays. Not that I'm having any anytime soon, but yeah, well, that's that. Next is a dress that I've recently bought and I love it. I have not worn it yet. I'm so excited to wear it. Basically, Miley's in the Navy. He usually has a pass out parade. They, they usually would. Uh, but because of COVID, they're not having one. I bought a dress just in case. But then I also bought a dress, like the same dress I thought, do you know what? I could just wear it on the day, like when I pick him up because I want to look hot and I want to look like we're celebrating. Do you know what I mean? So this is from Misguided and it probably doesn't look great on the hanger but I just fell in love with it. I kept seeing it come up on Facebook ads and I was just, I just needed it. So it's like, it's navy, looks kind of black but it is navy I promise and then it's got little pink flowers on it and I just, I just think it's so cute. Like I cannot wait to wear it. I look really good in it. I'm not trying to, I'm trying it's on right now but I just love it. This is a dress from Boohoo but I actually bought this on eBay for like £2 and it was brand new with tags on when I bought it. So it's like a ribbed slate grey slash stony colour um, and I just absolutely love it. I mean it is a size, oh it's a size 8. Why does it not fit me so good then? It's basically super tight and really short. Um, I actually thought it was smaller than that, so maybe I've put on more weight than I thought, but hey-ho, I'm still going to wear it because I love it. Then another dress from Boohoo. I mainly shop at Boohoo. See, this is a size 6 and this fits fine. Their, their size is so messed up, I reckon. Uh, but this is just a, it's kind of high neck, um, grey dress, like a normal length. Is it a normal length? Yeah, I'd say it probably is a normal length. Uh, just a grey dress again, casual, and also dress it up. Next is something else that everyone should have, is a black jacket. Again, this is from Boohoo, and this has had many outings with me, mainly on nights out. Um, but yeah, it's just like a suede material, um, and it just goes with everything. Like, even this outfit I'm wearing now, it would look super cool with. Then I've got this dress. This is also from eBay. I actually had to delete eBay because I was just buying dresses left, right and centre. This is also from Boohoo and this is a size 6. My sizes fluctuate. But yeah, this is just a cute, cute, super cute dress um, with like blue floral. Um, and it's quite, it's got nice spaghetti straps, which I love. I find it really flattering. And it's so low cut that I just don't wear a bra of it. I'm so lucky that I have, I'm lucky in a way that I don't have boobs because I can just get away with wearing no bra. I kind of look sexy without a bra. So yeah, this is one of those. If I wore a bra of it, it would definitely be on show. <clears throat> then another, oh no, it's not a boohoo. Oh heck, this is a pretty little thing. I've had this for a while. I actually did a YouTube video in this when I first bought it. I did like a haul, but it's this lovely red midi dress and again it's kind of high neck so it hides my boobs so that you can't see i don't have any um and it's almost spaghetti straps uh, and it's so tight it like hugs your figure makes your body just look incredible so i absolutely love this and i think it's like four or five pound like there's some real bargains and then last but not least hanging up this is asos and it's a size four, what on earth? So this is a, I don't know if it's a jumper dress or a jumper, but I basically wear it as a dress with some thick tights and some anchor boots. 
um but it's just a gray jumpery thing don't really know maybe it's because i'm short it turns into a dress uh, so this is a top that Milo got me a few years ago. I think he got me it for Christmas. Um, he actually chose it himself, which I was really impressed with. But it's an ASOS top. It's cropped, so I tend to wear it with like high waisted jeans. But look how pretty it is. Like he's got such good fashion sense. I might get him to buy my clothes more often. Love it. Then I've got this top. This is from Boohoo. And it's inside out. It's leopard print with like a lacy top. I don't know if it's tacky or nice. I haven't decided, but I've worn it a couple of times, so I must like it. Next is this hat that I bought from Peacocks before I went on holiday to Antigua, I think. I just think it's so like when you sat there on your sun lounger reading a book with your cocktail. I don't think I look like... I belong in, where's the posh place? No, I probably don't belong in Dubai. Italy, Venice, somewhere posh. I look like a posh bird in this hat. And it's got a dog hair on it. Happy days. But yeah, I um, I like this hat. Yeah, I probably look a bit strange. Now, I'm not really a hat person, but it's good for keeping the sun off your head. And I just kind of think I look a bit chic in this hat. Yeah, uh, I'm going to leave some boring things out, like just cardigans. Uh, this is just a turtleneck black top. Uh, white t-shirt, white t-shirt. This is a black t-shirt that says L'Amour, which I think means love. My love, maybe. I don't know. I don't speak French. Oh yeah, and then I've also got this top that I'm wearing. This is also from Boohoo. This is another mustard top that's inside out because I don't put my wash away properly. Boohoo. Basic long sleeve. That's a strappy white top. That's Milo's t-shirt. What is that doing in my drawer? Then I've got a black crop top, which is also inside out. Sometimes wear this with like white jeans and black heels on the night out. High waisted jeans. I like to keep my belly in. Uh, this is a bodysuit from Boohoo and it's got like a frilly neck. I just had a double chin doing that, God. It's got a frilly neck and frilly shoulders but it's inside out. This is going to be a quick one, isn't it? Another long sleeve top in like a browny, stony colour. This is a top that actually goes with a skirt which I shall show you in a minute because I have a top drawer and a bottom drawer but it's like a crop top this is from Pretty Little Thing and this is one of my favourite outfits so I will show you in a second uh, a white strappy top a pink t-shirt this is a nice pink t-shirt this is from New Look and I have to turn it the right way to show you look at the bottom look at the flowers I love it absolutely love it I wear it quite a lot Strappy, this is a top from Boohoo and it's got leopard lips, leopardy lips, I do love a good t-shirt. This is from Peacocks and it's just a simple black kind of smarty top. <coughs> it's like throwing fibres about and making me cough. This is a black bodysuit. Long sleeve bodysuit. Strappy top, strappy top. Another white crop top. A bit boring. Uh, random jumper, which is from New Look. That was given to me. Which I'll show you because I quite like it. It has got a hole in it, so I need to sew it up. I say I need to sew it up. I don't know how to sew. I'll get my eye to do it. Yeah, just a dark grey jumper. I don't think this video is going to be this long. I don't think I have this much clothes, but apparently I do. This is a cropped jumper turtleneck. Cropped turtleneck jumper. There we go. Um, yeah, I really like this. Wear it with high waisted jeans. This is another top that goes with a skirt. And oh, I love it. You've probably, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me wear it recently. I'm just obsessed with it. So it's like a little t-shirt top 
from Boohoo and it has a matching skirt so it's like a little set and oh, I just I just love it so much and then I've got a pink top pink t-shirty flowy top <coughs> like that that's for me look right I'm totally just going to chuck all these back in and I'll sort them another time right bottoms this isn't going to last very long because I don't have a lot so this is that skirt I was saying about that goes with the t-shirt top. I don't know if I told you it's from Boohoo, but it is, and it's a midi skirt. So I tend to pull it quite high up, and then have the t-shirt on, and then you just get like a little, like that much gap where you can see a little bit of skin to show that it's cropped, but I don't like my belly hanging out, or like my actual belly. Um, I'm not going to show my pyjamas because, boring. These are my black dungarees, which I love. Um, I wouldn't wear it with this top because I'd look like a minion, but I love dungarees. Then I've got these black trousers. I've got these in the new look sale, I think. Um, I've got them in a different colour as well. So they're like black smart trousers. I don't know if you can see very well. And then you have like a little tie. So you can have like a big bow once you've tied it up and it kind of scrunches in. I don't know how well you can see it. But yeah, I love those. Then I've got them in pink. I'm not going to unfold them because you saw the black ones. And then there's the other skirt that goes with a black crop top, I was saying. Again, this is a midi, yeah, midi skirt. Then I've got some black shorts. I didn't tell you where that was from. Boohoo, yeah. These are from Tesco's. Just some simple black shorts. And then I've got some simple... <laughs> Uh, simple not the right way around these are also from tesco's and they're just some simple trousers they look really strange when they're not in an outfit like they're a weird color but when you wear it with a black strappy top they look really good but yeah they are a bit of like a mr blobby kind of color um and then I have this leather skirt that I got from Next when I worked there, and it's got pockets, which is super handy. It's Boohoo pink denim skirt. Love it. This one is Primark. I actually bought this Next to, I remember buying it. Um, this is a pink leathery looking skirt. When I say leather, it's not actually leather. It's like just a leather look. Um, but I've worn this many, many times. And again, casual, dressy. And I think this is the last thing, you know. Because they're all pyjamas. Or my football kit. This is some jeans from Boohoo. Surprise, surprise. And they're just ripped blue jeans. So yeah, like I said, I do have clothes that are in the wash. I don't just own one pair of jeans. Um, but... And I'm just chucking all of this in things. Can't be bothered right now. I totally haven't grown up. <sighs> Fold the kids' clothes, but when it comes down to mine, I just cannot be bothered. And there's for sure someone watching me out of my window, watching me film and holding up my clothes, thinking, what the hell is she doing? But anyway, that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a little bit different from me. Uh, but let me know in the comments if you liked it. If you want me to do, like, try this stuff on. Because I probably didn't explain it very well. Um, what sort of videos you want to see next. I don't know. Just fill my comments up. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.